Okay, we're going to look at GitHub Desktop. Um, now, to use GitHub Desktop, you should already have a GitHub account, and hopefully with this, you've got an education student account, and that has already been set up. Now, um, what GitHub Desktop is, is like a GUI. It's a, like a user interface where you can do um, a lot of like... Um, drag and drop and do things through the interface without having to type in any command line coding. Now, um, ideally, the best way of communicating um, with online GitHub repos um, is by using the command line, um, something like terminal, where you're communicating and uh, pulling and pushing uh, your projects up and down or, or adding to code base that's the best way of obviously doing it professionally but github desktop is once you have an understanding of how to do it with the command line it's a good and easy way of um, you know uploading and pulling down projects and keeping them updated so if you go to uh, github desktop just search for github desktop and you'll be taken um, here and it depending on what the operating system is it'll come up with a button i'm using a mac so it has it senses that i've got a mac and you just download and then you install now the first time you do install um you'll have to connect to your github um you know you do that through the preferences or it'll prompt you in connecting there might be some sort of you know security things it needs to connect to your github um, account but once that's done you'll have that on the computer and then you'll be able to actually um, upload your projects and keep them up to date okay so here i am in my github profile and what i'm going to do is set up a new repository so if i go up the top where it's got repositories over here on the right, it's got the green button that says new. I click on new. I'm going to call this Alice, and all will be revealed why I'm calling that. You can give it a description. You can make it public. I'm going to leave it public. And you can set it up with a readme. That's an initial readme. Um, you can delete that and get rid of it later on. But but ideally, setting up um, a default readme um, you know, you can do that straight away and then we can sort it out later on. So all I do is I click to create the repository. And what it's done here, it's just given me uh, this repo. I've called it Alice and it's created a readme just with that on. And now um, I've got that and that's on my GitHub account. Now what I'm going to do is go back um, to my um, computer uh, the, the the desktop app for um, GitHub Desktop, and I'm going to use. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, a, a README on my computer that's going to have some text on there. It's going to be created in Markdown, and it's going to have an image. And I'm going to use the uh, GitHub Desktop app to upload my project onto um, my GitHub repo. And then after that, I'm going to use it to keep it updated and um, under version control. Okay, so first up, um, I'm using an Apple Mac. So however you create a new folder in whatever platform you're using, um, so you create a new folder, I'm gonna call this Alice underscore in, that's gonna be the name of my folder. And I'm going to open up the folder. And inside the, uh, I'm going to drag in an image I'm going to be using. And then on top of that, I'm going to create another folder. And I'm going to call that images. And make sure, uh, you know, I spell it right. And once I've got that, I'm going to drag the image, the JPEG in there. So that's my image. So I've set this up. That's going to be what I'm going to use for my um, site folder. 
um, that I'm going to use to upload to my GitHub repository. Now, what I'll do is open up a Markdown creator. Um, you can create this in a text document. Um, we've looked at before. There's a number of different options you can look at. Um, so we looked at using Typora, which is cross-platform, which is a Markdown generator. Um, and also if you're using Mac, there's Macdown. I'm going to use Macdown. So I open up Mac down. Now um, I'll move my uh, folder over here. So I've got my folder and I'll just open it up um, here. So we'll just bring that in. And I've got my folder here and it's got my images. Now what I will do is to start off with, I'll go to file and I'll go to save. And I'm gonna save it in uh, my folder on the desktop. So I've got this, I'm gonna save it in here and I'm gonna call it uh, README. Okay, so once I've done that, I'll click save. So I've saved it as README and it's in my folder here. Um, so I've got that. Now what I need to do is I'll just sort of put some text on here. So what I've got, if you remember with um, Markdown, is if we got the hash sign, that means heading one. In this program, if I just delete the hash sign, I can highlight it and I can go format and I can go convert to heading one and it'll add it for me. Now, this is just text under here, which will do paragraph text. And I wanna put an image in there. So what you would do to create an image Again, um, you can go to the format and say image and it puts it in there. Typora will also do that where it'll have these presets will give you um, this information on here. So it's got an explanation mark. It's got um, these square brackets, which is the alt tag. So I will type in there a description of what the image is, T uh, party. And in here, there should be the link. Now, if I open my folder, Here's the image, and what I can do to just get the the destination of it, I can drag and drop it, and I'll put it in between these uh, square brackets. Now that is a literal link, so it's got you, all my, um, you know, the where it is all the way down, and I don't really need that when I upload it, otherwise it'll be broken. So the only thing I need to do is delete the first part of it, and, um, and just have the uh, images forward slash tparty.jpg. So that just tells me that's in that folder and that that's more of, of a relative link rather than a literal link. So so a good way of dragging and dropping it and then turning it into that. Putting it in a folder is also a good idea. So you see the image has now appeared in here. I need to save it and make sure it's now up to date. Right, now what I need to do is I need to upload this um, to uh, my GitHub profile. I'll just bring that in and I'll put this here. So I'm going to open my GitHub desktop. Okay, so here I am in my GitHub desktop. Now what I need to do is I've created a, a repo or a repository already on um, my GitHub and I need to now pull this down so it's on my computer. Number of different ways you can do that, but if I go up here where it's got current repository, I click here and I go to add, and what I will do is clone repository. That means it's gonna clone down um, to um, from online down. So I've got this, it's come up with my GitHub, and I need to find um, my repo. You can search through here, or I can type. I think I called it Alice. And there it is. It's, it's got my uh, profile name, and then it's got Alice. So I highlight that, and it tells me where it should be placed. So I've already created a, um, through my previous projects, I've got a document in my documents. I've got a GitHub and I'm saving it in Solent Project, so that's fine, but you can choose something else or another destination. Ideally, keep all your GitHub projects all together um, in a GitHub folder. That's what it'll push you to do 
when you first set up GitHub Desktop, and then you break it down subfolders. That's fine. I click clone. Now, what that will do is pull it down. It will appear here, so it, it, it's pulled it down. So I've got that, and I pulled that down um, to uh, my computer. Now, what I need to do is I need to go into my documents folder where it's saved, and I need to go into the gear hub. And what I'm going to do is copy these to it. So we'll open that up and get going. Okay, so here I have my folder um, in my GitHub um, folder in the documents. I open that up and I what I've done is this is a readme I automatically created. So ideally, I don't really um, need that. Um, so what I will do is sort of replace that. So where I've got this folder that I've created with images and the new readme, which has got this information here, I will just drag and drop those and place them in here. Now, it'll ask me to replace the original readme, which I don't need anymore. And once I've done that, I've copied it into the folder. Now, when I um, come back here and I click on changes, this is now a watch folder. So when you originally set up your GitHub folder, when you're setting up GitHub Desktop, it will um, create a, a, like a, what it calls a watched folder. So it knows that these two files have been updated and it wants me to update them. So I'll just say added uh, files. Now, when you do these um, certainly descriptions on your commits, they to help you know what you've done each time you've updated something, but also when you're working in a team for your team members. Now, I'll just say commit. Now, once I've done that, you'll see the changes have disappeared and it wants me to push, push up. So push means pushing it up to GitHub. When it says pull, it means you pull it down. So I need to push it up. So what I need to do is you can click up here to push, or I can say push to origin. So, so that's what, it, what it's referring to as GitHub as the origin. Now, once that's all done, it will clear, and I can click on the, um, the history, and this will tell me all the things that have been added on here. So that, that gives me all my commits. Now, what I'll do is I'll just look and see what's happened on my GitHub repo. Okay, so I've opened up my GitHub repo. I'll sometimes, if something's happened, I need to uh, refresh that. So here's my GitHub repo. So now it's created my GitHub repo and it's placed it up online, right? So what I'm going to do now is um, update my, my, my file and see uh, what happens about pushing it up again. So what I will do is underneath here, I'll just bring this down and I'll format this and I will convert to something like H2, which will give me two hashes. And I'll just type in hello. So it's typed in hello underneath here. Now what I can do is make sure I save that readme. Now, if I look back here down with my repo, I click on changes and it's highlighted it here, what's been updated. So the bit in red is just that, that um, quote that I had and the section in green means obviously uh, the quote I've had and also it highlights this added text. So it tells me what's been added. Now, all I'll do is down at the bottom, it's got this generic thing which just says update readme, or I can override it and say added hello. Okay, and then I click commit, and then I push to origin. Now, once I've pushed to origin, it depends on how much work you've done and what the connection's like, you're pushing it up. I'm going to go back now and I'm going to see what it's done on the repo in the browser. Here I am on my repo and if I press the refresh button, you will see it's added hello on there. So that, that's, uh, you know, pretty good. It, it's added that so I can see um, you know, what, what's been done there. So that's pretty good. If we go up here, it's got the commits. It'll show me these three commits on here. 
So that's really good. And again, if we go back here, it's got my history and it's got the three commits on the desktop app. So this works in um, coordination with your GitHub repo. And that's how you would push anything in your project up there. Uh, and that's how you would keep it up to date. So communicating through this, it, it, you know, is really, really good. If I click on here. Now, the last thing I, I will really do here is I will create a uh, GitHub um, uh, pages. So this will work as a website. It'll still work as you come here and you can see that um, that's the way to go with if you just want to read me and document all your project. But I'm going to create a uh, GitHub pages so it works as a, uh, a website. I click on settings and I come down to GitHub pages. So simple here uh i just select main so that's the main repository and that's the root so you don't have to do that and all i need to do is click save so once i click save it will take me back here and if i go down here on github pages it's now created this this address where my github readme uh lives if i copy that i can go back to the top level of my repo Okay, so I can come up here where it's got about. I can click on the little cog here and where it says website, I can paste this in. I'm just gonna back delete the dot. So I get rid of that. I can put a short description in here if I wish. And then I click on save changes. Okay, so I've got that here. So if I click on that, I'll see what I've got. So here is the, um, you know the github pages for it clears away all the not appearing in the repo and it will give the top level of your 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 username and then it will just do the forward slash where the repo is so so basically that's a good way of, of you know showing the website now if i go back to my uh, readme my github pages here um Whenever you're not sure about anything's being updated, you, you know, you can push to uh, fetch or you have to fetch from origin and make sure it's up to date. But it looks like, you know, everything is is up to date. So that's just a, you know, the best way of um, if you're going to use GitHub uh, desktop of pushing your work up there. Uh, later on, I could add more images here and they would appear over here and then I would update it. So you keep on going back updating it and pushing it up you can use um this uh, mac down or again if you use a pc um you can use, or even an apple mac you can use typora and that's the same sort of principle of creating markdown documents and putting them up or you can just type them in you know if you had uh, vs code you can actually do the same thing and create um you know um readme documents and then push them up to your GitHub repo.